Here's how you can make this Memphis stroke text effect here in Illustrator. Okay, so first we're going to set up the Memphis pattern. So let's select the rectangle and let's create a rectangle and I'm going to change up the fill color and I get some special colors right here. And all you need to do from here, press and hold all to drag it down, make sure to intersect. And here you can resize it and recolor it. And basically just repeat this process until you're going to create a really nice pattern. All right, so this is how it looks. And inside of it, we're going to create some other patterns as well. For example, I'm going to select the circle, press and hold shift and press and hold all to drag it. Also press and hold shift and press control D a couple of times. And I'm going to select it all. And again, select all of it and I'm going to position it here, for example, scale it down and make it fit. I'm also going to do another one here made of these sort of rectangles and I'm going to make a couple of them. I'm going to select all of it, go to object, repeat and select the grid. And here you can go to grid type. You also can flip the row upwards and downwards. And now I'm going to go here to the circle, bring it in, also this one. And that way you can create a really nice pattern. I'm going to position it right here, press and hold shift, scale it down. And I'm going to go to these lines and bring it here and make it fit. And I'm going to make one more with the line, with the strokes, something like this. All right, so after we are finished, we're going to need to expand all of this. So I'm going to select all the composition. Let's go to the object, expand appearance. And I'm going to go back again object, expand, click OK. And I'm also going to select it again just to see if I did expand everything. But it seems like these are still strokes. So I'm going to go back again, expand and click OK. So now we have everything expanded. I'm also going to go back to this one and I'm going to right click on release clipping mask and I'm going to press shift plus M or we can go to the shape builder tool here and press and hold alt, press and hold shift at the same time. And I'm going to select these which are outside. So it's going to cut it down and remain with the interior part. As you can see, we still got this rectangle here, this invisible rectangle, and I'm going to drag it, press on delete. So now we are ready. Now I'm going to select the full composition, a right click group. And let's go to the brushes. Now drag and drop the brush into the brushes. And I'm going to select the pattern brush, click OK. And I'm going to go with the default settings, click OK. And in order to make this brush work, you're going to need a text made of stroke lines. I'm going to select the text and select the new brush. Now it's a little bit thick, but I'm going to go to the stroke thickness, decrease it. And that's how you make this Memphis pattern stroke text here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.